Hello and welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and we are working with an app, uh, Number Pieces, which is an app that helps utilize the base 10 blocks manipulatives to help model concrete understanding of early number sense and early number concepts. Uh, and when you say early elementary type level where you're going to be adding, subtracting, multiplying and dividing and also uh, understanding the value of each place that's in our number system and so what we have here is uh, we have an app and we have one of our our flats that are out on the board and this flat in itself is a multiplication problem and and we're going to be working with multiplication now with our base 10 blocks uh, this app gives you kind of these measurement devices these measurement uh, tools that we can rotate, make vertical and horizontal, and then we can help count. Now, uh, one thing that you notice is that each little marker is one unit, or if you're using base 10 blocks, it'd be equivalent to about a centimeter. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten units in one dimension and 10 units in the other dimension. So taking that value, uh, we're going to erase that because I wrote not, poor, not properly. So I have 10 units on one dimension and we have 10 units in the other dimension. So we have a 10 by 10 rectangle. And so we have a 10 by 10 rectangle or square in this case uh, which equals 100 and that's why all of these all together equal 100 little centimeter cubes so, well let's what happens if we change that what happens if we add more dimensions to that we increase the length let's say we make a rectangle that's going to add two more or three more of these on the end well, we take our measuring tool and we can extend it over a little bit. And now we have 10, which is in our regular box, or our regular square, or our regular flat. And then we have one more, which makes 11, two more, which makes 12, and then three more, which makes 13. So along this dimension, we have 13 units. And along the other dimension, we have 10. Now what we've modeled is a 10 by 13, which is going to be 10 times 13, which is 130. And you can see that uh, by our original flat was 100, and then our other long was 10 plus 10 more plus 10 more. So altogether we have 100 that's in a flat and 30 that's in our longs, so we have 130. And that helps model this concept of partial products to where we have our 10 times 13. Well, we have our 10 by 10, so 10 times 10, which is 100, and then we have 10 times 3 which is 30 and so you take the 30 plus the 100 and those go together to make the 130. Uh, so this model base 10 blocks uh, can be helpful in understanding multiplication and taking the dimensions of our rectangle whatever the rectangle dimensions are and finding the total once we um, multiply them out or find the dimensions and then we can count the internal units that are within it and we can count them in groups of 100 based on our flats or based on tens which are our longs uh, another concept that you can do with this let me um, erase that take my marker off and we can delete is we can do uh, dimensions we can increase the dimensions on the other side as well to where we have let's say two of these and we can rotate that up here on the side and then we can take this multiply here and bring it it's clicking in 
bring it there, and then we put that one here. So now what we have is we have 11 along one dimension, and now we have 10, 21 along the other dimension. Come on. There it is. So we have 21 over here and we have 11 over there. So we have 21 times 11. And you can break this all up by counting the tens. We have, we, or hundreds I should say. This one is 100. So we got 100 plus 100. That's this one plus 10, 20, 30, so plus 30, plus the 1 in the corner. And altogether that's 231. So you can use the rectangular model to help model multiplication and the dimensions of our rectangle and then how many units are within that rectangle created by those dimensions. Uh, this is also a good way to help practice our young learners or get them ready for algebra when we're doing algebra tiles and building that concept of multiplying polynomials and unknown lengths because that concept of rectangular arrays is the is the basis of factoring and doing the binomial and uh, multiplication and polynomial multiplication and the distributive property uh, it's all connected and if our young learners can have activities that that work with this in our base 10 blocks then later on they can have a much better connection to the mathematics that's being taught and they help have an understanding of the concept behind our multiplication um, so this is uh, Multiplication, uh, this is PyPad Mathematics, and I am Professor Lamb. Thank you.